165 for six. Ian Bishop sounding like a, a Brazilian football commentator there, but uh, yeah. Danny, is, is is that probably the largest six you've seen hit in the CPL? Yeah, yeah. when you, you say that and you think about Gail and and Andre Russell you know, getting hold of it, and it just wasn't his arc. Sadly, the Yorker was a little overdone there and he missed the ball of our full <laughs> toss. This is you know, just under hip height. And Levers, Darren Sammy on his what? His own patch. Stadium named after him. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want to miss out on those and didn't that night. Oh, like massive. Great sign. Yeah, he, he, he definitely had to bring in, you know, bring in the big guns. Uh, Tom, you've worked with, you worked with Darren Sammy at the Sunrisers. Uh, what, according to you, you know, makes him take, what makes him a good leader? What makes him a, a, a good all-rounder? I think from a leading perspective, he he's just good with people. Uh, he understands uh, the dynamic of a dressing room. He understands that there are going to be cultural differences, and he is good at uh, um, you know moving in those different circles. And he's he's also good at just bringing people together. He's a quite an effervescent character. Um, you know, he's popular person, uh, so mm -hmm. people naturally gravitate to him. So that's a huge advantage from a leadership perspective. As an all rounder, you know, Darren uh, over the years has uh, evolved into more of a bat, batsman that bowls a bit against a pure all-rounder. In the early parts of his career, he was a ge genuine, you know, batsman that bowled, um, that bowled, you know, important overs. Um, and then due to injury more than anything else, his bowling sort of went pretty much uh, on the back burner. And his focus was his captaincy, his leadership, and his ability to do exactly what we saw in that clip. And that's at the end of the innings, you know, finish off with a quick fire, 20 or 30, and um, and give his side that momentum going into a break. Uh, 